All right, so this is the throttle body from a 2004 5.7 Hemi on Dodge Ram 2500. It's been completely removed already because I'm going to need to clean it out. It's not too dirty. This is the front side. This is what you can see. So after I remove my air intake, I can see in here that there was a little carbon buildup there that could be causing me issues. So you have to remove it. That's what it looks like on the back side. Because uh, this is electronic, it looks like this on the side. If you've got pulleys on the side, then you don't have to remove it because you can actually open it manually with your finger. But on the electronic ones, you're not supposed to touch the uh, butterfly valve, this bad boy, at all. So you've got to remove it so you can clean both sides of it. So I just pulled it off. I'm going to try and clean it with brake cleaner as uh, you're not supposed to use throttle body cleaner on the electronic throttle bodies. Uh, so I'm going to try giving this clean and uh, show you guys when I'm putting it back on. And I'm about five minutes into cleaning using this brake cleaner. I went ahead and used masking tape to uh, cover up the electronics there. You'll notice it says do not clean. So I'm keeping in mind to uh, always have this pointed down so that none of the uh, cleaning agents can get up into this engine. You can see it's looking better. But uh, it's hard to get right there on the lip. I'm trying to be careful not to touch the butterfly valve at all. Uh, I'm spraying with brake cleaner and then uh, using a shirt to wipe around the edges a little bit. Alright, so about 10 minutes of cleaning and uh, an entire can of brake cleaner. Ending up about like this. You'll see there's still a little bit right around the lip that I couldn't get to. Because it's electronic and you can't move that butterfly valve, it really prevents you from getting a, a good clean. Uh, but it's going to be a lot better than it was. This is where it's going. I cleaned as much as I could in here with just a rag in my hand. And now I'm going to slide this right in there with the uh, valve on the right side. There's the throttle body on there. I'm still tightening the screws. I'm using a 5 16 I hear uh, from other people across the internet that it's supposed to be an 8mm, but I didn't have an extension for my 8mm, and the 5 16 is working. One of the things that you're supposed to do is uh, do it in a crisscross pattern, keep the pressure even just a little bit at a time. So that's what we're doing. Alright, there it is all assembled. I got my four bolts tightened. I just did them about hand tight. Manual says 105 inch pounds, which is about 8 foot pounds. But uh, my torque wrench only goes down to 15 foot pounds, so uh, I just did them hand tight. Make sure you get that uh, clip plugged back in so everything actually runs. And uh, put your orange o ring on. And then we're going to slide the resonator on, bolt that in as well.